Hello, guys! Today we will upgrade Saiga. And the goal of today's modernization is to create such a variant of the setup, which is designed for the most severe operating conditions. Dmitry and I have already discussed this topic before. This is not the first Saiga that we are upgrading. We had a video about the lightest setup where we discussed this rifle. We had a video about the maximum number of options that can be installed on one rifle. I will give links to these videos in the description. Today Dmitry has a new rifle. Tell us about it. So, I got a Saiga MK rifle version 33 in caliber 5.45. That is, this Saiga is with a short version of the barrel. Yes, the barrel is 350 mm, and accordingly my main goal is to use this rifle for trainings in the most difficult conditions. My name is Anastasia. Dmitry, tell us, what are we going to install? So, today we will use a different concept of setup. Instead of popular and already well-known sport handguards, we will install B30U handguard. This is a long version of a handguard. Long version, which is not new, it has been manufactured by Zenitka for a quite long time, and what's more, we even have feedback. Our users sent us handguards that were already used. They are slightly damaged, but let's say right away that the users are alive and they are doing well. Rifles were used in really difficult conditions, which once again show the reliability of this concept. In this case, we demonstrated B30 handguards with Picatinny rails on all sides. We will install B30U on this rifle. Accordingly, here I have two handguards, B30 with Picatinny rails on all sides and B30U with Picatinny rails on the bottom, basis rails on the sides and mini Picatinny rail on the side, for example, for Pierce as an option. We will install B30U. For those who like to wait stuff, let's wait two handguards right away. If you plan to build a concept with B30, then you will know what adjustments to make to get an idea of how much it will weight. So, B30 weights 271 gram. B30U 190 grams. That is, B30U is a lightened version, but in terms of rigidity they are the same. If sport kits have a handguard separately and a front part separately, there are some elements of giving extra rigidity as well, then here it is a single monolithic structure. And the first thing to do will, of course, install the handguard. Let's get started, yep. To begin with, we will perform an incomplete disassembly. I think you have seen this many times, we will not focus on that, let's get started. So, the disassembly was done. Yes, let's install it. Yes, yes. We install the handguard in a regular place. We put the handguard retainer on. The handguard will need to be hammered into the receiver. At the same time, you should not hit the handguard itself. Hits must be applied to the handguard retainer. To do this, we will need a punch and a hammer. Let's do that. Let's do that. So, maybe in the bottom part and here.
Yes, let's see. It didn't go in here. Let's knock more from below. Yes. As I have said, the process requires patience. I don't want to hit anyone's finger. No, let's hit the top part more. The lever on handguard retainer should close. Mm -hmm. Better, yes. And hit from above. A couple more hits from above. And everything will work out. Yes, I'm holding it. Lower your hand a little bit, I'm afraid to hit your fingers. So, done. Excellent. Great hit. The lever was closed manually, so we installed the handguard. What's next? It is necessary to install the gas tube. And then the rail above the gas tube. Excellent. We will do it. We took over the gas tube cover. What are the features of the top rail? This is a long handguard, that is, all the top handguards that I will talk about are compatible with B30 and B30U long handguards. And there is a variety of options. Firstly, there are rails with a full-sized upper Picatinny rail, and there are with a lowered one. We will install a full-sized, like here, the toughest option. Is this one the one? So, here you have B31, and we will install B31S. And, by the way, a good question, why won't we install B31? There are two top rails with a full-size top Picatinny rail, they are very similar. This is B31, this is B31S. As you can see, B31 has a slightly longer upper Picatinny rail. And therefore, based on the fact that we are now talking about the rifle with a short barrel version, B31 will not fit in here, because it will go against the front side. This variant is designed for long barrel options. And this handguard is also compatible with long barrel rifles. That is, we use B31 on the long version of the barrel. On the short one, we use B31S. Or, if you want a lowered Picatinny reel, then there are B31L and B31N. For long handguard options, B31N is the most rational variant. B31L differs from it in the number of legs. B31L has eight legs. This is dictated by the fact that it is from Sport 1 kit, that is, if you have Sport 1 kit, then the upper rail from it will also fit on long handguard options. And if you buy the top rail for a long handguard, then we recommend B31N. It has six legs. So, you need to tighten the screws. Tighten the screws? Yes, yes. Interesting point about the screws. Previously, we used M5 by 9 screws in such handguards. Now B30 and B30U, both of the handguards, use M5 by 7 screws, which are shorter. Are we tightening? Yes. Well, the handguard is installed, the top handguard B31S is installed. One of the distinguishing features of this handguard is that it allows to install the regular cleaning rod. The cleaning rod is not compatible with sport kits, it is compatible with B30 and B30U handguards. That's handy. And one more moment, some users are asking a fairly popular question. Is it possible to install a short upper handguard B19 or B19N 
on a long handguard. In theory, yes, it is possible, it will fit there, but there is not much practical sense in that. Firstly, the rigidity of the structure is violated, because due to the regular sling mount, there is a certain gap in the power circuit, which is compensated by the upper rail. You won't be able to compensate for this with a short upper rail. And it won't be as convenient, so we recommend to use long top rails with long handguards. What else? Buttstock, as well as the dust cover and pistol grip. We have shown many times how to do that, so let's not focus on that. The only thing that I would like to say again is that since the rifle has a short barrel, in accordance with Russian laws, it is necessary to use PT-1S buttstock. There are two options. PT-1 is shorter, PT-1S, respectively, is a longer version for rifles with a shorter barrel. Now we will install all of that. So, we have completed the assembly of the rifle. We installed PT-1S buttstock, B-33 dust cover, RK-9 pistol grip and RP-1 chiding handle. Tell us! Yes. Now we want to install our L1 hand stopper to improve ergonomics. This is where it comes in really handy. And if you pay attention, I will just take the old sample, the museum one. Here this part looks a little different than on the new one. We added a mini basis rail here just to make it convenient to install our L1 hand stoppers here. Excellent! Very ergonomic! So, this is the perfect location for it. If we talk about convenience, people also asked. Basically, this question is more about B30 handguards. But this also applies to B30U. There is a Picatinny rail on the bottom. If you want to add some comfort, then we have NPN1 rail covers for Picatinny rails, with which you can cover this rail to make it smooth. Now we will do it. Cut off the central part. The most important thing is to cut in the right place. Yes. Excellent. What about the front part? We will install DTK-3. And here is another important point. We are dealing with Saiga with a short barrel version, so it has a protrusion after the thread. There is no such thing on long barrel Saigas, therefore those muzzle brakes that are designed for long Saigas will not fit in here. We install a special DTK-3, which is compatible here. If we talk about shadow muzzle devices, which we have repeatedly demonstrated, then there is a special adapter for the short Saigas for shadows. Fits perfectly, no wobble. Super! I think it's worth waiting this concept. Let's wait it. So, 3 kilograms, 787 grams. Let's show the concept from two sides. So, we have installed the buttstock, the pistol grip, the dust cover, which has a Picatinny rail, B30U handguard, and the top rail B31S. 
Now let's go back a little bit and discuss why, in fact, we are doing all that. We did that to demonstrate the most rigid, reliable option that can be used in the most difficult conditions. We will install sites here. We will install an aiming system here. This is Pierce 2 all-in-one, visible laser, infrared laser, visible flashlight and infrared illuminator. There are many concepts in general. I think in future we can even demonstrate different options on the same rifle. Different pierces in combination with different flashlights. Today we have installed such the most extensive complex, everything in one. The maximum set of functions. And, of course, the build cannot be completed without a red dot. Vzor? Vzor. In this case, it is Vzor 3TK. Yes? Dot circle. I specifically... Yes, you installed it on a platform, which is not quick detachable, in order to see the iron sight. I repeat, this type of platform allows the shooter to observe not only through the side field, but also under the side we see opening on the platform, which allows me to see the mechanical sights well. This makes alignment and zeroing of the red dot very quick and easy. Setup completed. It remains to be tested in practice. We will definitely shoot with this Saiga. It's time to shoot. It's time to shoot. Products that we demonstrated today are on our website en.zenitka.ru Our official partners are listed on en.zenitka.ru in Partners section. Thank you for pressing the Like button, asking your questions in the comment section, follow our channel. And we'll see you soon. Goodbye. See you soon.